When people hear the word addiction, usually drugs and gambling come to mind. Valley View's Myra Castaneda has the story of a new kind of addiction, the internet. A red notification on a person's Facebook page may cause their nervous system to release oxytocin, the love hormone. A growing number of studies are comparing internet and Facebook addiction to other addictions such as smoking and gambling. CSUN students say they are not addicted to Facebook, but do know people who may be. You see them posting things every, you know, every like 20 minutes or whatever, and I have like a thousand photos. Posting on a constant, regular basis, always checking, oh, did someone text, did someone write me, or they have notification being sent to their cell phone. Oxygen Media and Lightspeed Research surveyed over 1,600 adults about their Facebook usage. They found that a third of women check their Facebook as soon as they woke up. The main reason people get involved in addictions of any kind is that they are trying to avoid uncomfortable feelings, usually feelings of anxiety, depression, or problems that are encroaching on them in their lives that they don't have a solution to. Via email, psychologist Dr. Kimberly Young says she started NetAddiction.com in 1995. There is even an online assessment test anyone can take to see if they may be addicted to the Internet. Like any other addiction, Internet addiction has health risks. One chiropractor says spending too much time with your head tilted down can cause a sore neck or even early spinal arthritis. Smartphones like this one have applications that make it faster and easier for people to access their Facebook page. The American Psychological Association says that internet addiction is a new field of study, but more psychologists are beginning to do research on it. In Northridge, I am Myra Castaneda reporting for Valley View News.